Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have five ring reveals from Fragrant Jewels from their Not So Perfect Bath Bombs, since you guys requested to see them all at once. First up, we have the Summer Sunset Bath Bomb. Also have the English Garden one. That one did break when I opened it. Then we have the Honey Lemon. The Unwind Bath Bomb. And finally, the May Burst Stone Bath Bomb. I did get the Queen of Diamonds Bath Bomb, but I'm going to do that one separately since that one I haven't filmed before and all these other ones I have filmed. So they kind of spread out throughout the bathtub. And it's funny because they're so foamy and fizzy that you can't really see the bath bombs moving. It just looks like still shots of the bath bombs. But it made really pretty colors in the bathtub. And I actually had a lot of fun doing this. I wasn't sure how it was going to smell or what the water was going to look like. But surprisingly, it smelled really good. It wasn't very overwhelming like I thought it would be. I think I smelled more of the honey lemon bath bomb than I did the other ones. I tried to do a panning shot of the bathtub since they were spread out quite a bit. And now I'm going to show you the rings. This first ring is from the English Garden Bath Bomb. You can see the silver code, which means it's a $10 ring. It was a size 7, and it had a blue stone. I'll show the rings again at the end of the video. Next, we have the Unwind Bath Bomb. This one also was a $10 ring. And this one just had some clear stones on it, and it was a size 10. Next up, we have the May Burststone Bath Bomb. You can see the gold code, so that means it's a $25 ring. And for as much as I dislike my Burststone, I thought the ring itself was pretty. Next, we have the Honey Lemon Bath Bomb. Don't know what size it was. It did not have a label on it, but it was a $10 ring with three purple stones. And the very last one was from the Summer Sunset Bath Bomb. It's a size 9, and it's a $25 ring with a really pretty red stone. And here's what the water looked like after I got out of the bathtub. It's a very muddy looking color. But it was really fun getting into it because there's so much foam and bubbles on the surface. It was really nice. And here's a better view of all the rings. If you guys are interested in seeing more unboxings of the Not So Perfect Bath Bombs, please leave a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of video where I put multiple bath bombs in there and do multiple reveals. Also, let me know that because I could continue to do these if that's something you guys want to see. I thought it was fun. It's definitely different than what I normally do. So I did enjoy it and I would be willing to do more if you guys are interested. Here's that May Burststone Bath Bomb ring. And the purple one. I thought this one was pretty. Three purple stones lined up. And the very last one, which might be one of my favorite rings. 
I do really like the red stones. And it's kind of in a heart shape, so I thought that was pretty. So that is what I got. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye, guys.